Speaking of Benny Morrow, let's go ahead and do Fire Force. Yeah. So I'm going to start. I'm going to make it quick and to the fucking point because I don't want to yell this entire time. <laughs> but um, This is your platform to yell. You can yell all you want. I yelled enough in my own video. I'm That's tired true. of being traumatized. Um, there was a lot of death. And the one thing that I definitely will say about this show is that the buildup and the payoff is always so worth it especially like being this deep i think what this show's gonna be like past like 50 episodes i think by the end of this season is it yeah or close to it it'll be like but 48 like, maybe i think yeah 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 yeah. maybe 48 but like even so it's just like even with everything that happened in this episode and like even though someone had like a power up well not even a power moment but like you know a realization of their goal and like a steadfast moment i i just can't really not love this show like at all like everything about it is just flawless to me like i know the pacing was weird in the first season and a lot of people drop it and shit like that but like this shit is so worth it every time the shit hits the fan like i just feel like it's it's earned like the fights are earned like it's not just like shit happening out of nowhere like we got here for a reason and we've been told time and time again that like these are fucking terrorist murderers like and guess what (laughs) here you go like here's a lot of fucking death enjoy and that's 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 what i got out the episode it was funny tamaki i just i'm so i'm still disappointed in how that character is being handled but you know Hey, if she's gonna be the driving force for a homeboy, okay, cool. That's that's you. That's your character. I'll take it. I'll yep. take it. I'll take it. I yeah. was not expecting him to get a fucking half an episode <laughs> to himself though. That shit took me out. I legit was like, oh my god, wait, we're going in a backstory. Which now looking back on it, like, cause I lost it. I don't know what's gonna happen at the, on the next episode, but. I was just like, oh, wow, they killed all those people. And then after he did that shit to her and the fire, like, engulfed him, I was like, whoa. So we killing, like, <laughs> we killing, killing niggas now. Yep. So, yeah, basically the Death Flag episode. Right. So, like, the, the quick, like, recap for the episode was uh, we get the nether, second nether operation with, is this the the second squad is that who they're cooperating with it's the eighth and the second yeah the second yeah which also i feel like it didn't well no it did kind of make sense i thought the beginning was hilarious with arthur and the other captain and shit yeah like they that. gave him like, a manual to a like manual what do they call it? it was like the the arthur feeding and handling manual or something like that yes <laughs> it's all and you have to do i also <laughs> thought i just like the maki and the brother situation in hinawa i was like get this out of my face i'm so tired of this brother and the daddy still. I was like, fuck both of y'all. Like, go talk to Maki. Like, at like just basically be like, what do you want? Just like just get it out the way. I know it's coming. Yeah, neither one of them are sympathetic. So no. it, it's not like uh, they they're setting things up in a way that would disappoint fans of that character. I know that technically, uh in this segment she none of her conversations are conversations around her really passed the Bechtel test. So, yeah. you know, it, it, it is what it is. Also, I, I still think it's a little problematic that they cast her uh, strength as anti-feminine. Like, somehow these things are in conflict with each other, but, you know, Japan uh, being a conservative, you know, society that it is. Uh, this is this is, this kind of... The resolution of the story is about as progressive on issues like that as you're going to expect from something mainstream from their culture it's not like we're that much more woke you know in the u.s so it's kind of hard to point a lot of fingers but you know i could i know that some some people could find that um not not troubling just a little disappointing that that's as far as they're going to likely be willing to go but as far as like the story we actually spend a lot of time with juggernaut um we know that he's a perennial scaredy cat we get introduced to like some of his squad mates Someone he looks up to who we barely get a chance to meet before he gets fucking murdered. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> unceremoniously. Gave homeboy a full scene to himself. And he was, like, going off. He was on that John Wick shit, just, like, blowing, blowing so niggas cool. away. He was bad cool. And then, like, whoop. 
<laughs> you're dead. Uh, then Juggernaut has his feet. First of all, I don't care what what your other takeaway from an episode like this might be. Just understand, a hoe got Molly Watt. Like, Man, like that... Molly Whopped out of existence, like out of the frame of the comic into the fourth dimension. Where's that? I don't even think that they that they did like a sound effect of her bones getting fucking broken. Like, because... yeah, because it was just it was done. They should have just played the fucking Smash Brothers, uh, 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 the, that that Smash Keen sound where you just yeah, like, oh, the... yeah, yeah, just just there. And she was she was all the way out of here. And when I mean out of here, I'm not blown away, blown apart because there was nowhere for that body to go. After she mocked him that they were too soft for the nether. Right. Jesus. Like, I forget. Somehow, for for some reason, every time some shit goes down in the nether, there's always just some hard body, like, annihilation scene that gets heavily animated that I'm like, well, I can't live without this anymore. Like, if you put this up with, like, Maki, like, just just finishing that entire squad of white clads from season one. like Yes! Every time they go down there, somebody gets got in the hardest way possible. So I thought that was pretty good. I, I, I enjoyed this episode. The one thing I wanted to comment on also was that, um, you know, as a manga reader, a lot of times one of the, like the, the thing that stands out for Fire Force is how well like comedy is sort of slipped into the structure of scenes, like very serious things can be happening, um, life and death even. And they still, at least from an artistic point of view, manage to like slip in things like sight gags or like character sides or just like comedic situations and for the most part i think that the series has done a, a reasonable job more so in the latter half of the first season than into the second season um yeah they, they figured out how to make the comedy beats work without just seeming like they were out of nowhere which is you know it works in the manga doesn't always work um for the show this episode was incredibly brutal maybe one of the most brutal episodes that they've they've had in terms of like number of regular people actually dying and yes. dying dying in terrible ways under oppressive circumstances that in any other situation or series this would be like straight up horror right cuz they're underground in tunnels with effectively zombies getting torn apart friends killed in front of friends bodies reanimating coming back just like not nothing about this is comedic at all and yet they managed to slip in that scene where like the three soldiers all do the typical anime death flag flashback and in, in, in the first one i was you know you can say like all right well you know this is we know what this is he's gonna die and it's not funny the sec when they have the second one back to back you're like they know what they're doing putting two of these back to back is basically making the both a joke right like we know the audience knows what this is the author know, knows what this is you know this is funny and then to have like the third one you think oh they escalated from uh, what was it the guy with his wife to be or girlfriend he wanted to see again then yeah to the next guy whose wife was pregnant and right <laughs> wasn't she like in a in the hospital or something like that and he's like i just want to see my my newborn kid and then the third guy you're like okay how do you level that up he just wanted to wear a pair of new shoes when he got out of there which is like a complete gag. No, that's happened. That is a complete gag. Happening. And no, it's not happened because all three of them get murdered and eaten, literally eaten alive. So like, that's a joke. And then you have the bit where uh, uh, the doctor is like, like, like taking cover with that other soldier. And the way he's like, the timing of him like, Popping his well, yeah, hip hop it up, and then like the doctor says something, and then the, the guy gets shot in the head, and the body falls back down, which is again horrible. We don't see a lot of people dying like like this in the show, just like getting shot, right? The body's like right there, and you have that moment of like you know false calm because we know he's gonna come back and attack attack the doctor, and he runs away, but like licked rather, um, that he's gonna get attacked, and yes, it happens exactly as you would expect it, and he comedically runs away. And it's like, man, like I was really worried about how they were going to handle all this straight up comedy in the midst of what I think is one of the most brutal parts of the of the manga that kind of just like pops up on you. So it was, I like I like the episode. Yeah, me too.